Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL event tutorial for beginners. This is our part 2. Inside this video session guys, we will see about concept of event scheduler as well as we will see about syntax to create events. If we go to the next slide. Now event scheduler. Basically, we are seeing about the concept of event scheduler. So, MySQL uses a special thread called event scheduler thread to execute all scheduled events. What basically the first line means? First line means that suppose we have hundred of events that we have made which executes on a specific time. But remember, to execute all the scheduled events, MySQL uses a special thread that special thread basically known as event scheduler thread. By default, event scheduler thread is off in MySQL server. So we need to enable while scheduling our events. If suppose our event scheduler is not enabled, then our scheduled events will not be run. So firstly, we need to start our event scheduler to execute our scheduled events. So to the syntax, to actually enable our event scheduler is simple as one line syntax called set global event scheduler equal to on. This is the simple syntax to enable our event scheduler. Let's say that we have enabled and executed our all event scheduler. Now we want to make it as false or we want to disable our event scheduler. So in that case, actually we need to make the syntax called set global event scheduler and instead of on value we have to put our off value so if i back to our php my admin means my sql server go to our sql tab and let's say that let's say so process list this is a simple my sql command basically used to see all running processes if i press go button now as we can see that Right now, there is two statements inside this list called phpMyAdmin, local server and root local server and this is the command actually we have executed right here. Inside this list, right now our event scheduler is off so MySQL didn't enable our scheduled events thread. So when we run our command set global event scheduler equal to on, one more row inserted inside this command if we type so process list because it shows that it is an active thread which is finding about the scheduled events inside our MySQL server and it automatically runs on that specific time. So let's say that if I open this MySQL server into a new tab and I'm going to open our scheduler event. So let's say set, let's say global event scheduler. Here we have to pass E, so event scheduler equal to let's say on. So we are going to enable our event scheduler. So if I press control enter or pressing go button, now as we can see that successfully we have enabled our event scheduler. Again back to this tab. If I press let's say so process list and press control enter. Now as we can see that inside this list we have added one more row known as event scheduler and this is actually finding all the scheduled events inside our MySQL server. So basically it's a thread MySQL create or enable to execute our scheduled events and remember let's say that we have executed all the scheduled events so we can make it as a false so copy the syntax go to SQL tab and if I type this command and instead of on if I press off button control enter and again add it in line and if I type this command same and press go button and as we can see that the row has been gone. It means that we have successfully disabled or make off our event scheduler thread. Back to slide. Now these all lines actually tells us about the concept of event scheduler thread. Now back to next step. Let's see about the syntax to create our event. 
because these events actually we are going to trigger on a specific time and those specific time our triggered events known as our scheduled events so here basically we are going to see about how to create a scheduled event so the create event statement creates a new event here is the basic syntax of the create event it means that if you want to create a scheduled event or event we need to use called create event syntax or a statement if I scroll down now here is the syntax to create our event called create event statement if not accessed it means that we are checking about the accessing of the events and here we have to pass our event name and remember while creating any event inside a database or MySQL server the event names must be unique within the same database it means that if we want to create multiple scheduled events inside a database so we have to keep the name must be unique of all the scheduled events so now this is the first line where we are creating the syntax create event if not exist this is same as the syntax only we need to type the unique name here now the second line we need to write on scheduled this is all about passing our scheduled trigger time so on schedule same as the keyword we need to type and inside this schedule we need to actually pass that this trigger we are going to create for one time or for recurring let's say that the event we are going to create is the first time means one time event it means that it will execute and stop again it will not going to execute so in that case on schedule is the keyword we need to write and instead of this schedule we need to actually follow this syntax called at and timestamp here is the time actually we need to pass let's say that we are going to create a schedule event which basically runs on the current timestamp so here we need to write called create event if not exist first event on schedule and we need to write here called at and the current timestamp we will see all these concepts in our upcoming videos here inside this video basically we are focusing on the syntax now let's say that we are going to create our event which basically fires on a time interval the events which basically fires on a time duration so these events are called recurring events so if the event is recurring event use the every clause it means that here instead of schedule we need to pass called every interval starts and this is timestamp this is end timestamp so for recurring events we need to pass every clause and inside this every clause we need to mention our start timestamp it means at what time our scheduled event will start and what time actually our scheduled event will stop so this is called recurring event where we have passed about our start timestamp as well as end timestamp so we will see all the concept of one time event as well as recurring event in our upcoming videos this is the video actually where we have focused only about the syntax to how to create our scheduled events in mysql so after specifying our scheduled time next we have to write do and here is the event body event body is nothing it's a logic or the mysql statements we need to write what basically this event uh, is going to do so this is only the syntax so create event if not exist here we have to pass the unique name on schedule this is our schedule time this is the keyword and this is all about a statement and let's say that this is only for the single statement if we have called multiple line syntax or multiple line statements for event we need to pass our begin and end block here do is only used for one line statement or any store processor actually we have called inside this scheduled event if we have called multiple lines of command to be executed for this event so we have to use call begin and end block so we will see all these things in our upcoming videos and remember to execute all the events or scheduled events in our mysql server we need to actually enable our event scheduler thread 
So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.